Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to look at how you can use effects creatively in BandLab. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. BandLab's effects can be used to make your mixes sound better, and they can also be used in creative ways too. I'm going to make an atmospheric techno groove and apply some effects to make it more dynamic and compelling to listen to. I begin by setting the project key to D minor. I then open BandLab Sounds and I search for Dub Techno. The atmospheric Dub Techno pack sounds appropriate, so I open it and set the instruments filter to Beats. I drag Metro Beat 4 into the project and use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for 4 bars. I set this track to minus 6 dB so that I have more headroom to add other elements to the mix. I add a virtual instrument track and set the instruments to leads. Two saw detune. I also set this track to minus 6 dB. I sequence a short D minor 9 chord. This doesn't sound very atmospheric so far, so let's add some effects. You can open the effects panel by clicking the effects button at the bottom of the screen, or by clicking the effects button on a particular track. In the effects panel, I click the add effect button and select tone multi filter. This is set to low pass mode by default, which cuts out the signal's high frequencies. By automating the filter cutoff frequency, I can give this synth chord a dynamic movement. I click the automation button to show the automation lanes, and on the synth track I select multi-filter, frequency. I click to add breakpoints to the automation lane. I set 1 to around 1500 Hz at the start of the bar, dropping quickly to 30 Hz about a quarter note in. This softens the sound and gives it a percussive feel. Next I'm going to add a delay, which is going to repeat the sound and make it more interesting rhythmically. I click the Add Effect button, and this time select Delay, Filter Echo Plus. The time knob controls the rhythm of the delay effect. I set this to 1 quarter T, which gives us quarter note triplets. I turn up the feedback to 97% to give me a lengthy delay tail. I set the cutoff to 3400 Hz so that the delay tail filters out in atmospheric fashion. To make the sound feel like it's in a space, I add a reverb, studio reverb, setting the size to 91%. I close the automation lanes so I can sequence another element. I'd like to add a percussive element to spice up the groove. I add a new instrument track and set it to Drum Kits, Latin. I set this track to minus 4 dB. I sequence a shaker on every other eighth note of a bar. I duplicate these out for the rest of the 4 bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, select them, then hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. This part sounds a little dry, so let's add some delay. The last time I used Filter Echo Plus, which syncs the delay time to the divisions of the project tempo. This time I'm going to use the regular Filter Echo, which allows me to set the delay time in milliseconds. This means I can choose values that are off-grid, giving me the ability to create a shuffle style effect. I set the delay time to 141 milliseconds. This gives me a cool shuffle groove that complements the relatively straight rhythms of the other elements. The final element I'm going to add is a pad. I create a new instrument track and set it to pads, Smooth Brass Pad. 
I set this track to minus 10 dB. I sequence a D minor chord that plays for the whole four bars. This sounds pretty plain, so again we're going to rely on effects to make it sound more dynamic. First, I add a modulation phase 72. I set the speed to 0.3. This gives the sound an organic stereo movement. Next, I add a stereo chorus, setting the depth to 88%. This enhances the organic feel of the pad and increases the stereo movement too. I add a studio reverb, setting the size to 81%. This puts the sound in a virtual space and makes it sound more natural. Next, I add a multi-filter, and this time set the mode to high pass. In this mode, the filter removes low frequencies. I turn the resonance up to 8.0, which emphasizes the filter cutoff frequency. Let's hear how it sounds when I adjust the frequency when playing the project back. That sounds cool, but it could benefit from some delay. I add a filter echo plus, and as with the earlier synth, I set the delay to quarter note triplets and the feedback to 97%. I bring up the automation lanes again, and create an automation curve for the multi-filter frequency. This features quick movements to create bursts of sound that will work rhythmically with the delay effect. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!